Hey everyone, it's Pamela with Enjoy Gifts and Gathering, and I don't have my card, I don't have my hat thingy. Um, I do have the crazy hair, so there you go. Um, I was going to do a thing on fear tonight, but I end up not having time to prepare because I, I know that fear keeps creeping up in all of us with this whole situation. Um, however, the other night or the other day before I read uh, the little train that could or the little engine that could, I referenced the Bible verse, John sixteen thirty three, And then God freaked me out that night when my husband and I did our devotional for couples, this Mr. and Mrs. I don't know how you do it backwards, but anyway. Um, and at the very end of the devotion was John sixteen thirty three. Okay. Now, hopefully this shows you that God hears us, God sees us, God is with us, because um, the, the next day or whatever, I did the Psalm 91, and then Melissa shared that three different online pastors, you know, sermons that she watched all referenced Psalm 91. And then Yesterday, when I told you I was trying to decide if I was going to do Philippians 3 or Philippians 4, and yes, I realized that I wrote Ephesians on my initial YouTube thing, so it went out to everybody saying Ephesians, but yet in my little message it said Philippians. So anyway, well, tonight, um, when we did our Bible verse, or our devotion together, lo and behold... The verse that was referenced was Philippians 4.12, which is one of the verses that I read last night. So again, to me, it's just God saying, yes, it's okay. I know this is going to suck, but there's going to be a lot of good that comes from it. I mean, for one thing, we've already seen people thinking about each other with groceries or the little things in the windows to help encourage each other. Um, many, 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 many people out walking that you don't ever see out walking. So always a lot of good things. So anyway, because I didn't get a chance to prepare my other thing that I had planned, obviously God always knows what he wants to do. I'm going to read our, um, our devotion for tonight because it just reiterated what I did last night. So this is totally God's planning. I am learning to stay out of his way and just do with what he shows us. So it says, he's always enough. I know what it is to be in need, and I know what it is to have plenty. I have learned the secret of being content in any and every situation, whether well-fed or hungry, whether living in plenty or in want. Philippians 4.12. It says, your journey in life will lead through paths of peace and blessing and valleys of struggle and pain. You'll move through seasons of weakness and health, financial burdens and prosperity, loneliness and belonging, conflict and peace. Through all the ups and downs, the Lord is faithful and never changes. I remember mentioned that the other night too, that the only thing that is consistent in our life is that God is because he doesn't change. I'm just like, okay, cool. Thank you for reminding me. You know, it says you don't have to be afraid or angry when hard times come. God is just as good in your hardships as in your abundance. In every situation, you can praise him for his love and power in your lives. You can be content and peaceful knowing he has good purpose for everything you face. Your well-being is found in knowing him instead of your circumstances. Remember, we've kind of talked before about choosing joy in all circumstances. Um, it's just, it's good. It's good, good. So we're going to do it. I, I think we're going to do a session on joy and how it's mentioned throughout the Bible, but we'll see what God has planned. Anyway, are you in a place of plenty right now? Do you suffer from needs that shake your faith? Find rest in your loving Father who sees all, remains by your side, and bears all your burdens. And a little prayer at the end said, Lord, we don't need anything but you to be all right. Help us to trust you to carry for us in every way. Teach us to be content with all you've given. Now, it doesn't mean that we're just we're supposed to sit back and just twiddle our thumbs and let God take care of us. But he's taught us to be prepared financially, um, 
you know, with this whole thing going on, common sense, you know, with washing our hands and not going out if you don't have to. And if you're sick, stay in and, you know, getting plenty of rest and drinking plenty of water um, and exercising, you know. So anyway, I love y'all. Um, praying for you. And sorry, this is late again. I had an emergency ERS meeting, emergency rescue squad meeting just to um, help us prepare and make changes for handling any 911 calls that come up. So I too had to be reminded when I got home from the meeting to not let fear overtake me and to just be wise. So um, have a restful sleep. Um, I'm here if you want a private message to me, if you have any other questions or concerns, I'd be happy to do my best to help you. Good night.